Um, as far as I'm concerned, and as far as Washington and the Beltway is concerned, and this is uh, something which is not openly aired, which the lady asked. Washington is quite happy for someone else to take up the slack where it has found Islamabad so intransigent, so mulish, so obstinate in its geostrategic, uh, so called strategic depth objectives, with, not just with India but with its near abroad. And I mean, Islamabad doesn't really listen to anybody, least of all Washington, as they know only ruefully. One could say Riyadh has some leverage over them, but even more so than uh, uh, Riyadh with its emotive spiritual uh, affinities and uh, links to Pakistan, I would say Beijing can do so. And as I mentioned also, that Beijing will take a no-nonsense approach to security uh, across Pakistan. And uh, Islamabad only knows that too well because these are not exactly Western democratic liberals that they are dealing with who will not uh, heed uh, whatever tantrums they decide to throw. So Washington in a way might say, think at least someone else is going to fill the vacuum, not exactly to their liking, but who can monitor and tailor Pakistan's behavior and that of Pakistan's deep state in order to contain them at some level because Islam, uh, because Beijing is not really interested in Islamabad going on a barnstorming tour across near, near, the near abroad, creating and subventing terror proxies for Iran, for Uzbekistan, never mind India, which is the least of it, which I don't even want to discuss, but others in the region who have complained about uh, uh, Islamabad's uh, policies for a very long time, the deep state, that is to say. So Beijing will come down on this because they're interested in making money and they don't want grief all around.